welcome to Cooking at Nano Oblige, the channel here where I give you a lesson every week to show you how to make something interesting and flavorful to eat or drink. Today, we're going to take a twist on macaroni and cheese. I love playing with mac and cheese and introducing new flavors. Mac and cheese is a comfort food, and yet you can play up different things with it. And today, we're going to do a Thai red curry and shrimp mac and cheese. I know that sounds weird. Asian and cheese don't necessarily go together, but this mac and cheese is delicious. Let's talk about everything that I put in my version of this uh, Thai red curry mac and cheese. Uh, we're going to start by making a sauce. I'm going to use some, um, some great flavors, some garlic, some shallot, some ginger, lemongrass. And this is a lemongrass stock. We're going to grate it on our microplane and get it um, nice and fine so because it, it can be a little tough and woody. Lemongrass can be a little bit difficult to find if you don't have a specialty produce store, if your produce doesn't specialize in that stuff, but oftentimes you can find something like this which is just lemongrass already chopped up in a tube. And that's super simple and easy as well. We're gonna use a little fish stock, use some butter. We're gonna use a little lobster stock. Um, and again, you can find this in your grocery store in the, in the um, broth and stock aisle. Um, because we want that sort of flavor to accentuate the shrimp. Thai red curry paste, a little half and half, and a little bit of cheddar cheese. There's not a ton here. The cheddar is in the background in this. We're gonna sort of let all of these um, Thai flavors shine through, but we do want it to have a little bit of gooeyness because it is mac and cheese. We're going to saute the shrimp in a little bit of olive oil with some salt and pepper. We're going to cook off our pasta and then we're going to garnish it with some green onion and some chopped uh, peanuts when it's all done. Let's walk through all of the prep. For the shrimp, I've got some salt and pepper, garlic, some olive oil. We're simply going to saute the shrimp with the garlic um, and then set them off to the side so we can toss half in with the pasta and leave it a little bit on top so it really looks like the shrimp shines, which is great. I've mixed the lobster stock. Now here, you, if you didn't want to do shrimp and lobster stock, you could do chicken and chicken stock. That's just fine. Just substitute it out, no problem. Melt some butter. We've got our ginger, our shallots, our garlic, our lemongrass. We're gonna use the Thai red curry paste, a little bit of fish sauce, some half and half, thicken it with a little flour. We've got our peanuts and onions for garnish, and I'm gonna cook the pasta so that it's ready to just get tossed with all of the sauce.
thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video so you can see how this Thai mac and cheese turned out. It's beautiful. Oh, and the smells coming off of it are so good. The peanuts add a little bit of crunch. That green onion there just also adds just a little bit of crunch and snap. You're going to love this. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking at Nano Clutch. Mm -hmm.